We have all been there. Not enough sleep. Your brain gets a little foggy. The memories, your ability to recall, not as sharp. But it turns out it's not necessarily the amount of sleep you're getting, but instead the kind of sleep. So tonight, ABC's Amy Robach on what it takes to get those short-term memories into your brain's long-term hard drive. Scientists have discovered what's happening at night may be the key to why memories fade as you age. Turns out it's not how much you sleep, but what kind of sleep that may be crucial. It's called slow wave sleep, the non-dream deep sleep that occurs in the first few hours of a sleep cycle. Your brain waves are actually different with higher peaks and valleys. That sleep is actually transferring memories from one location within the brain, a short-term location, to a long-term location. We've all heard of testing memory by recalling dates and faces, but researchers ask people to memorize ordinary words paired with nonsense words, like false and dipotabia, jump and villained. The theory that the ability to retain previously unknown information declines with age. Doctors then tested to see if people could remember those word pairings after sleep. The older patients with less slow wave sleep had a harder time remembering the words. If you had bad sleep, your memory was a lot worse. But if we can improve sleep, we could actually improve memory. The good news? No matter your age, doctors say there is a way to improve slow wave sleep and thus your memory. Exercise, and exercise may be uh, especially interesting in relationship to this deep slow wave sleep. Exercise can increase the amount of time that you spend in that deep slow wave sleep. And Amy's with us now, great to have you with us. This is really fascinating. So during slow wave sleep, your memories are actually being moved from the front to the back. Right, and the problem is for people who have aged, it's a natural process for there to be atrophy in that front part of the brain. So it doesn't do a very good job of taking those memories and putting them back into the hard drive where they're stored and able to be accessed. So they never make it to the hard drive. You mentioned exercise there in your report, but does the timing of the exercise or the kind of exercise matter? Researchers say it is very important not to exercise exercise close to your bedtime because then you're going to be wired and charged and you're not going to be able to get any sleep, let alone deep sleep.